Hi everyone! Today I just want to do a walk around with the trailer and kind of talk about it a little bit and uh, give you an insight on what I think about it so far and I've taken it out a few times so I got a few things that I'd like to share and after that we'll do a boondocking test to see what works, play around with it. I haven't really done that yet, so um, play around with it boondocking without hooked up to electricity, and um, I'll take you guys with me. But first, I want to start with a positive thought for the day, and that is if you can dream it, you can do it. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start at the front of the trailer. I love that it has a power tongue jack, and all I have to do is hit the button and raise the trailer up. Super awesome feature. It also has a light so you can see down on the hitch situation at night, so that's really nice. It's got this nice bike rack, but I took it off because I don't have a bike to put on it right now and it was big and bulky and I will put it back when I get a bike and actually use it. Here is a closer look at the propane tanks and it has a little valve in the middle that the arrow points to the one that is working that is open and you can flip it over to the other one when it's empty. a nifty place to keep your um, your power cord here and your chains hooks right on there all your chains hook up in an organized manner I got for this trailer a proven lock so this is kind of nice it's like super heavy-duty steel lock it's just nice add security I like the rounded look of the front of it. Super cute fiberglass rounded look and it's got the rock guard on the bottom. Stabilizer jacks on the trailer are really easy to bring down with that tool that they give you. Um, I use, I've been using a drill on like just using a drill slow to bring down the jack. Ah, most of the way and then I'll use that to bring it down the rest of the way so it doesn't jam it down into the ground coming around to the side I love that the door has this little has this little lock and it holds the door open so if it's windy it won't budge Super nice. Has a speaker on the outside next to the door. These vents did not come with a cover, so I was instructed to get these vent covers to prevent wasps and bees and whatever else to make their nests in there. So got those off of Amazon and I put them on myself. We have an outlet out here. off-road tires, a nice awning. I will pull that out here shortly. It has nice tinted windows so nobody can see in. I love that feature. This is how far the window goes out though. So I kinda wish that I had an, op an option to open it up farther than that to get more ventilation in the trailer if I wanted to, but it's okay. Um, 
a little tip, maybe get yourself one of these um, little brooms so you can sweep out all of the dirt that gets inside of these little storage compartments. <laughs> so this is the storage on the side compartment. Um, it, it's quite a bit of space. It goes back in there. The camera look makes it look like it's more space than it really is. Um, but I mean, you can fit quite a bit of stuff back in there. It's just getting to it. There's a little door right there that, that goes through to the underneath the bed inside the trailer. So you can reach things from there, but it works. And then it goes way back in there and that's the other door to the back of the trailer so that's how much storage we got coming over to the back we've got this back storage area i love the magnets on these doors i mean this is another angle of the storage i've got my power cords and my hoses back in this corner i keep my grill right here for now i'm gonna set that up today two windows, two tinted windows in the back. Again, they, they come out only this much. We got a ladder um, to climb up to see the top of the trailer. I can take you guys up there. This window comes out a little more because it's an emergency window. On the other side of the trailer, we have water heater area. Got the non-pressure water for the water tank. We've got cable and satellite hookup here. And then this is, I guess, the antifreeze. I'll let you look here. Antifreeze inlet and city water connection here. The thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have, I've been watching on some videos where trailers have a flush for the gray water tank and the black water tank as opposed to the city water connection, and this doesn't have that. So, kinda wish I had that. This is where the main power cord goes for the electricity. This is the outside shower. It's locked. So that's kinda cool. If you're all dirty and sandy, you can rinse off your feet. Oh, I forgot to show you down here is the fresh water drain. So that's where you can drain your fresh water tank. Just pull that valve. This here on this side is the sewer hose. So you open it up and I have the sewer hose slinkied in there. Here's the gray water drain and the sewer hookup to drain the sewer. Oh, but then you have to pull this um, black tank valve to drain the sewer. I'll do another video on that later, but these are the, the drains and the valves. Gray water drain valve, sewer hookup to this and it goes to the ground, and then you open this black water valve to drain the black water tank. There's a system that you have to do. With that, um, it's gotta go in order. This trailer's dry weight is 2,746 pounds. Length is 15 feet, eight inches. All right, as far as, as far as going inside the trailer, 
the door. We have a screen door. Doors are flimsy and you just gotta be very careful with this trailer. It's kind of fragile. The pieces are just flimsy, but it works. I love the screen door. It opens and closes really nice. You can open up this little part to get in um, a hold of the door handle there. So the blind broke on the front of the door very easily. And so I'm getting that replaced soon. The whole, the whole door is getting replaced. I've just had problems with it and I've heard in other videos that other people have had problems with their doors. But I love the screen door, super easy to open and it attaches to the door like so. Super awesome, love that feature. We need to grab a hold of the rail to get in. First, we're gonna talk about these stairs. They're pretty awesome. You gotta make sure the door is all the way open before you close the stairs. Goes right up in there and then it locks right there. You can see to get down, to take down the stabilizers on the stairs, there's a little latch back here. You push it and they come down. So it stabilizes the stairs. All right, so we're gonna go in. First off, you'll see to the left-hand side, Fresh water, black water, gray water. I am in Florida, so this is always, the batteries are always charged because of the solar. This works the awning. This works the step lights. This works the interior lights, which work, first test done, <laughs> works with boondocking. We already knew that, right? Disconnects Bluetooth, booster Wi-Fi, water heater, electric, water amp, tank heater. This takes out the awning, which I will show you guys here in a little bit. Just stick with me. To the right, we have a microwave that actually acts like an oven. You can roast chicken, bake cake, all the things. Yeah, nice microwave. Just below the microwave, we have a drawer storage. Button for the inverter, on and off. Bottle opener and more outlets. We have a three burner stove. And I got one of these sticker broom handle holder. So nice, because now my broom doesn't fall over when I'm driving anymore. It's awesome. Has this little outlet, um, more outlets, chargers. Pretty awesome. And we come over to the sink. I got a cutting board. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna come off there with these these little sticky sides. So that's awesome. Cutting board that I got. The trailer came with this, which is awesome. I love this, so I can wash vegetables. I got this sticky towel holder. Seems to be working pretty well. Shower, storage. We're gonna turn on the refrigerator. More outlets. This is the setup for the solar. 
managing the solar power. This programs the, the air conditioner and the heater. So there's the air conditioner up there, which we cannot run boondocking. And here is the heater. I turned the kitchenette area into a bed. 32 inch TV. Storage up top. Lock for the refrigerator. More storage down below. Storage underneath the bed. There's that door I was talking about. You just push on the top of it and it opens. There's a good look at the breaker panel. As boondocking I've been doing some playing around okay I'm filling up the tank the tank right there I can hear it filling up So it's about two thirds of the way full just to kind of play around with uh, because I want to run the sink. So we're, again, we're not hooked up to power and the sink runs. We got the water pump on. The sink running. And so what I did was I turned on the I turned on the tank, turned on the water heater because the water heater was trying to click on without the gas, the propane on, and it was not turning on. It was going click, 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 and it wouldn't turn on. So I had to turn on the propane to turn on the water heater. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's on. It's all fired up, burning. Okay, we got the water heater on and the water pump on. And let's test the hot water out. Oh yeah, hot water is a go. Let's turn on the shower, make sure it works. Let's take the toilet paper out and put it all in here. Close that up. Make sure there's nothing in here that's gonna get wet. <laughs> All right, so let's turn on the, the shower. Oh yeah, hot water is a go. Turn on the shower. So I'm gonna be doing docking. Like that. That water. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah. Now I just gotta test how long this all lasts when I'm actually boondock camping using it all. But I'm testing it right now just to see if it works. The next thing I wanna test is the outlets. So I'm testing this outlet with a lamp and I'm gonna test it with the inverter off. It is not turning on. So I'm gonna turn the inverter on. And the 
when the light turns on with the inverter on. Perfect, so we're gonna try all the outlets. Make sure they all work. Yep, lamp turns on. Yep, lamp turns on. Dang, it's kind of hard to get the plug in, in and out of the hole here. Let's see. Yep, lamp turns on. Yep, lamp turns on. Perfect. All of the outlets seem to be working. Got my fan running. Feels so good. Fan on. We'll turn it all the way up to four. Three, four. We'll turn it on high. Open up the lid. Got that. All right. And then we're turning on this fan in the bathroom. It's open. Light switch is on. I'm just kind of turning on all the things. All right, let's turn on this light. All right, so I got internal lights, I got a lamp plugged in, I got this fan in the bathroom going, I have this fan going, I have the hot water heater on and the water pump. Let's turn on the TV. TV is on. All right, so what I'm gonna do is turn on the burners. Let's test those out. My propane is on uh, for the hot water heater. So let's go ahead. All the burners are working. Sweet. Just turn them all off here. All right, so we're we're powered up right now. We're working. All of that brought it down one green ball so far. So I think the next, one of the videos I'll do is testing it out on a boondocking trip to see what, how long it'll last uh, with just the propane and the solar and not being hooked up to electricity. It'd be a good idea to do it in the winter so that I don't have to run the AC. I can go without using the microwave and the heater. So yeah, that'll, that'll happen in the future. All right, next we'll try out the awning. Try to make sure it doesn't get hooked up on the door, so you have to open the door a little bit to make sure that that bar doesn't get hooked on there. Yeah. Awning is a go. Okay, so this is what the grill looks like when it's set up outside of the trailer. Super nice, if I wanna cook outside. I know that I need to cure it, so I will. I just haven't gotten that far, but I am so happy that I've gotten far enough to set it up. All right, so we're gonna put, push it in this circle one, and then it clicks right on in there other end oh there we go oh yeah that's on heck yeah it's on super excited about this right now oh oh time for a cold drink it's hot 
out here. Hmm. So that's it. If anybody has any comments or tips for me, leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe. I'm going to be probably taking a trip next week somewhere here in Florida. So, and I will do a future video on boondocking this thing to see how long everything lasts. <clears throat> we're figuring out this little trailer together. That's what we're doing.